Last time on Create Astral, we went on a quest to get brass. This meant making a new steam power plant, finding a meteor to steal some shimmer, making a spacesuit, and going to the moon. But not necessarily in that order. Ah! Um... I'm freezing to death. But eventually we were successful and now we've managed to fix our tractors. But I've actually hopped on between episodes here because, well, we've got a little bit of upgrading to do. So I have already expanded this platform here a little bit, just adding lots of stone. But basically this power plant's just not going to cut it. It's already at capacity and it's barely doing anything. And a simple solution is just to replace these with some blaze burners. But the less simple thing is the fact that I built my lava lake all the way over there. And I've built the power plant all the way over there. They literally couldn't be further apart. So I'm going to get to work. I'm basically just going to rebuild something similar to that, but over here. And we're going to feed the blaze burners directly from the lava pool. So let's open this episode with a cheeky montage. And a short while later, we now have 189,000 SU. That is amazing. And if we have an E2, we've got a little kickstart thing here as well. But I guess we can probably make it look a bit better now, can't we? And I should probably also feed the power actually out of the power station. So I think what I'll probably do for now is just have a little bit over this side. We run it across the front here. And there we go. And from there, we can just route it off to wherever it's needed. At least that's my thinking. So I guess my next job here is just to tidy this up, make it look a bit more like a little power station. It might be nice to actually wrap a building around something for a change, mightn't it? But the problem with that is we don't really have much choice in resources. We've got stone, birch, yeah, we've got a whole lot of white concrete for some reason. And then of course we've got cobble, we've got granite, so I don't know, I mean, maybe, maybe we could use the granite a little bit, use some granite brick blocks, maybe? <laughs> So, funny story, just as I finished building this building, I logged out. I didn't actually get a chance to record the other bit afterwards because it was quite late at night. And I vlogged in the next day, and look at this. Foxy has built another massive building right next door, and it looks amazing. And if I have a little peek in the windows, it looks like he's made lots of changes in there, but I'll wait till he actually logs on before we have a proper look around, because I'm sure he's going to explain it to us, which would be nice. But to be honest, I just quite enjoy the fact that there's actually a few buildings here now, instead of just living on a giant stone platform. But in regards to this building, I think it's coming along quite well. We still need to add a couple of big chimneys and actually make it look a little bit more like a power plant. But for the limited resources we have, I think it's come out quite well, and I've sorted out the interior as well, just put up a few safe barriers because you know what I'm like and we've got a bit of space at the top here if we need to add any machines we've got a little squirting thing here apparently and a mixer and all sorts going on so it looks like Foxy actually found this bit which is good because all I did was leave a power connector at the top I also did a bit of work on the outside trying to work out what we were going to use for paving and this is just sanded cobblestone but I quite like how it looks and I've made it wide enough to drive our tractors around on as well of course but we'll have to come back to this power station later because Foxy's going to be logging in any moment now the beardstone hello hello Good morning. Um, this looks wonderful, by the way. Thank you. Thank you. I um, I spent a couple of minutes on it, at least. Well, that's the thing. I, I don't actually know where you found the time to do it, because I, I was building my power plant. I was like, right, I'm just going to build the exterior. I did that. I logged out. And then next time I logged back in, boom, house. Yes. Well, the, the thing is, I see you. I logged in and I thought, oh, that's a nice power station. I could use that. And uh, so I did. I got rid of my lovely water thing and stole all of your power well that's what it's for foxy that's what it's for do you want to do you want to show me what you've done in there it looks like you've changed everything up in there as well uh well it was a big mess the whole like thing that we had because we had no brass but now we've got brass i was able to use the little um, brass funnels and things and completely compact all of this so now it's a much more compact system and I've even squeezed in a few extra little things here. We've got one of them go around -y things that you can use to make the steam engines. Uh, not steam, precision mechanisms. That's it. Oh, okay. I need yep. a speed controller. Um, nice, nice. There was a press here, but that had to go because I put a speed controller in. Upstairs, there's absolutely nothing at all, but plenty of space for some things. Look at this. Expansion. I like it. Yeah, yeah. And there's one more hidden secret little uh, useful thing in this building that it turned out I actually needed to make the windows, Mr. Beardstone. And that is an automatic smelterer. All you have to do is put your items in that barrel at the back there, set the filter to whatever you don't want to go in the barrel, 
or do want to go in the, with, with, yeah, the thing you want to go in the barrel and then it, it just does it. Nice. I've done this. So you've built all those machines in there and um, I've, well, it's power, isn't it? There's not really much to explain um, on, on, on reflection. Look at the size of it. I know we've got so much power as well, like 173,000 that we're not using. Wow. Okay, good. Yeah, and that's also yeah. going to come in very handy today because we've done something we've not done before, and that is discuss what we actually need to do this episode. You what? We've realised that we need to the, automate the, the metally things. I think that's our yes. plan today, right? We're going to automate the metally things, yes. Yes, yeah, so instead of actually kind of advancing through the through the quest book and getting ahead of ourselves and then realising we haven't done the basics again, we're going to do the basics. Hooray for basics! What episode are we on? <laughs> Five-ish? Yeah, well, is that, five's a good episode for doing basics. We've, we've got a few things we need to do. We need to, we need to expand this platform, so we're going to need to use yep. your brand new cooker to cook up loads of stone. But yes. more importantly, we need to make two buildings, I think we've worked out. One yeah. that I will focus on and that's going to make yep. tin copper gold and uh the other one zinc yeah them four um yep. i'm not gonna bother with iron because you, you've already got a wonderful iron farm and that's gonna be plenty for us and i'm gonna stick all them in a great big factory over here it's a very long path for me to for me to get to that but yeah i'll i won't bore you with the details foxy i'll bore everyone else later yeah that's a good idea yeah and i'm going to be building a, another factory probably quite close to yours just behind this power station here over this hole that's going to be a smeltery a big old tinker's smeltery and for that i've got to go on an adventure you do you do yes you get to go to the moon again foxy that wonderful place where nothing ever goes wrong yes nothing well nothing went wrong last time so i'm 100% you know confident that everything's going to be fine I've got my boots. What could go wrong? So, yeah, we'll, we'll smoke cobble, we'll build the platform, and then we'll build the factories. And we'll have a wonderful time doing so, Foxy. Yes. Oh, also, I'm going to have to go do some cooking at some point. Um, I've only got tails. Yes. I was going to say, I'm, I'm running a little bit low on supplies, Mr. Beardstone. I didn't want to, you know, force you stereotype you to the kitchen man again. But, I'm going uh, to the kitchen, Foxy. It's okay. I'm on my way. All right. I'll get this cobble smelted. Okay, yeah. You, 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 do, the, you do the platform. I'll do the cooking. See you in a minute. What? Here we go, sir. Mills on. <laughs> Mills on wheels. Mills on. I forgot my wheels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oi. No, that. Right, there you go. It's a vegetable soup you. and some, uh, some potatoes to dip Six in it. Six vegetable soup. 16, I think you're fine. Oh, uh, yeah. Sorry, I already had some in my head. <laughs> Just <laughs> created a new stack. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Beardstone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm really grateful, aren't I? Yeah, I'm so glad I slaved away in the kitchen making you that food. <laughs> Did you want any stone to help me, or are you, you uh, going to pretend you're doing something else for a few minutes now? Fill me up. Ah! Uh-oh. <laughs> I, uh, I'm going to do that. I'll just, I'll just brush over that in the edit, I'm sure. That looks big enough, doesn't it? Yeah. I think that's more than big enough for what we need. A little tiny smeltery that I'm going to be building. Yes. Plenty of room. <laughs> Have you seen the trail of stuff I've got to build? <laughs> I've got to build so many farms and factories today. Yeah, well, at least I'll get finished early, won't I? I can then make you some ratatouille, maybe six pieces Ooh. of it. 16, Foxy. 16. <laughs> yeah, just, oh, he's so ungrateful. Okay, so I need to do a little bit of planning here because we've got a lot of things we need to make and the route to get to them isn't as straightforward as I would have liked. But then nothing ever is in this pack, so it's nothing unexpected, I guess. But we have four main things that we are trying to make. So if I just put these here, and we have to do it on signs for now. But we want gold, we want tin, we want copper, and we want zinc. So first up, let's talk about zinc. This one is one of the more straightforward ones, I guess. So to get zinc, we need to wash red sand. We don't have any red sand, so let's just use this for now. And that is clearly red sand. We'll get red sand by crushing down terracotta, and we can nice and simply get terracotta from molten clay, which thankfully Foxy's already producing. We're gonna need a few connections to this one though, hence why it's nice and big. But if we pour molten clay into a basin, it will solidify into terracotta, which we can then crush to red sand, which we can then wash and get zinc. So that one, fairly straightforward, not too bad. Now let's talk about copper and tin because their recipes are very, very similar. They follow the same path for the most of it. We need to start with cobble, which is actually cobble, just so I don't confuse myself. We need to cook that cobble into stone. 
And then we pour the molten clay on top of this stone, and that is going to give us seared stone. Thankfully, we've already got infinite lava, but if we pour lava on seared stone, that is going to give us viridium. And then once we've got the viridium, we can crush that down into copper. And then if we pour water on top of seared stone, that is going to give us the blue ore thing. Is it azarine, maybe? I think it's azarine. And then when we crush that down, we'll get tin. Oh my, this is already looking very confusing. And the last thing we need to make is gold, which we can get from oxygen. Room, but I'm wondering, can we just wash sand? I mean, kinda, we can wash soul sand, so maybe that's what we should do. So if we go cobble, and gravel, and sand, and we'll pretend that one's soul sand, then that's gonna give us gold. And as a side product, we're also going to get quartz, which, to be honest, is going to be quite handy. Oh, it's getting dark. Go to bed, go to bed. So we know what we're building. The question is, where do we begin? And to be honest, I should probably start with zinc and copper, because chances are we're going to need a whole bunch of brass for this, and that means we're going to need the zinc and the copper itself. So the first thing I should do is get the molten clay to somewhere that's a little bit more useful for me. And what I might also do is mark roughly where I'm going to be putting the corner of the factory, and then just make sure I'm working inside this area. So that means the first thing I'm going to need is a bunch of pipes, pumps, and of course, fluid tanks. We've only got three of those. Which means I need a whole bunch of copper and barrels. And to be honest, we're actually quite low on that stuff at the moment. So in order to get copper, we're going to need to go do some mining first. Oh, Foxy. Mitch beard's down. <laughs> did, did you have a little trouble with the blazes? No. Oh, okay, cool. Um, the, I, I, the minecart contraption on the blaze spawner doesn't work. Oh, it doesn't. Ah, uh, nice try, though. I like the thinking. You know, it's good. Found a minecart contraption in the create box, and I think it might be one of my old lava tanks. Oh, that'd be handy. Yes! I don't have to make any tanks. Amazing. I'm not going mining. Hooray! <laughs> Hooray for not having to go mining. I'll back soon, Mr. Beardstone. Doodle pip. Don't die again. I'll try not to. I'll, why, am I, why am I dying? I've got my spacesuit on. No oxygen? What? I filled it up. Oh, I got iron boots on instead of space boots. <laughs> right. Oh, Foxy. <laughs> I'm very good at this game. So what I'm going to do is just bridge up to the top here and remove all of these tanks. We don't need to worry about destroying the lava that's in there. We don't need it. We've got all the lava. And there we go. Now I've got loads of fluid tanks. So in regards to piping this out, I think I'm going to go pretty much just straight across the ceiling here. And then we'll just punch a hole in the side of Foxy's building over here. As long as we don't tell him, he'll never know. No big pardon. Oh, oh, geez, you're right there. Uh, Hi. Yeah. Hello. Oh! Um, right, Mr. Beardstone. Yes. The moon. Yes. I'm thinking of generating a space, uh, like an airlock, where the blaze burner is, so I can put down torches and actually stop it from working, and then I can make a blaze farm there. Oh, oh, I like that. But it, it, it keep, I nearly, it's hard. Do you need, do you need, <laughs> do you need some help? Do you need some bodyguardage? I think it would be a nice thing to do together. Okay. Because right. I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't foresee me like being, oh, Mr. Beardstone, <laughs> can't do it on my own. Well, I thought you were just going to kill a few blazes and, uh, and so well, on. I have. I've I killed a lot of blazes, but just... I'm going to need a lot more. I just thought it would be a good idea for us to have a way of dealing with blazes even if, you know, for the future, maybe. I like it. Yeah, I like it. I'm coming. I've made a wall of protection, as you can see. I like the wall of protection. Yeah, this makes me yeah. happy. All, all you got to do is... Oh, now there's an enderman in there. Squirrel around there, and I'm just going to get a bunch of glass blocks in here while you fight off the nasties. Oh, my goodness. Stop it. Combat mod. And, of course, there's no nasties now. Yeah, I don't know what the problem is, Foxy. What have you been complaining about? Okay. Here we go. got me on fire. We'll just keep them focused on you, Mr. B. Right, right, okay. So they're now tied in. So I think if I put a hole in the floor, and then yeah. I can get them to come down to a specific point, right? Uh, can we use lava to push them, maybe? Maybe. I think blazes are pretty good at, like, naturally pathfinding to the lowest point anyway. Oh, geez. I was going to say, you, yeah, you probably should have dug from underneath. Um... Hey guys, I uh, am likely going to die. Maybe you should dig the hole from underneath. That would make sense. That would be a very sensible thing to do, Mr. B. I'm a genius sometimes, Foxy. Sometimes, yeah. Very occasionally. I've heard about this, yet to see it. There's no need for your snidey comments. <laughs> 
your accurate yet snidey <laughs> <laughs> Interestingly, um, we might not have needed soul sand to uh, to make our stuff. When the blazes shoot the moonstone below, the um, it goes blue. What? We can light moonstone and it goes blue. Okay, let's have one in this corner here, just just on that block. There we go. Perfect. Hey, let's we go do see. one over on this side. <laughs> the, there we go. Perfect. Good job, Mr. B. Yeah. The wall, but oh, oh my goodness me. You just got hit once or twice there, sir. Just a couple of times, yeah. I was slain by a pipeline engineer, Mr. Beardstone. <laughs> well, I, to be fair, I think now that we've dealt with most of it, I can probably finish the rest off on my own, so thank you for your help. Right, I'll give you my space suit, and I'll have a quick look for my one. Because I don't know what I've done with it, Foxy. Uh, there's only about 30% oxygen. Uh, here's some lava. Right. In that case, then, I'm, uh, I guess I, mean, I need more dirt. Then I'm going back in. Good luck. I believe in you, Foxy. Right, so, back to this pipe thing. If we can get this connected up to here and powered, then we can get all of the molten clay over to there. And, well, that's what we need. That's our first step. So we should just be able to connect this up to here. And that's powering that. Hopefully, that's going to get the clay all the way over to there. And, yep, that seems to be working. Perfect. Now, to turn this into terracotta, what we need to do is pour it into a casting basin. And the first thing I want to check is, does, does this work? Oh my days, that actually works. Not gonna lie, I didn't expect that to work at all. Now we know it does, what we can do is literally just have a little row here. And by row, I mean probably two will do it, actually. So let me figure this out. If I take that, and I'm hoping if I put a crude storage unit in the front here, go to here, take in items from that side. Is that going to work? Right, okay, I've got it figured out. What I've had to do is select the back panel there and select auto input, and now it's grabbing all of the terracotta and it's going straight into here, which is good. Apart from the fact that I should probably move this somewhere else. So what I'm thinking is, if I just move this around to this side here, we can put the storage unit there, put the terracotta on it. Now we set it to grab in from the back and from the right. We do auto inputs. And now that should just generate terracotta for us. So now we've got the terracotta coming in. The next step is to turn it into red sand. And we do that just by running it through a mill, I believe. Oh! Oh, it's a creeper. They do it on purpose. Yeah, I think he's been standing around just waiting for his moment, and he snuck up behind me when my back was turned. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I see you're having just I, I as much fun I, as I am. <laughs> I thought I'd come and see you, Mr. B. Oh, oh that was a pity death, was it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just wanted to get back quickly and leave all of my stuff there. A few minutes later, and I've just dragged some power from over there for now. And over here, what we're doing is we're taking the terracotta, running it through the mill, and it's very, very quick, because it's just doing one at a time. But we're now getting lots and lots of red sand. It was at about this time that Foxy gave a cry for help, so I went to the moon to help him finish off the blaze farm. Come help me finish it off. I can't do okay, it on my okay, own. Okay, okay, I'm coming, Beardster. Foxy. Don't, don't be sad. It's okay. I'm coming. <laughs> I hate it. I hate this moon and the stupid things that live on it. Why can't we... I like the nether. The nether's nice. I've never had a problem in the nether. Oh, there's a couple of heads lined up over here, Foxy. Mm. Hello. Good morning. <laughs> wow, they're loud. I'm turning them down. Yeah. Loud, difficult to kill, and otherwise totally obnoxious. There's no way to kill them, Foxy. No. No, no there is not, Mr. Beardstone. They're coming down the hole, though. Yes, yeah, that's about as far as I got. It's cool, yeah, yeah. I'll say, make a little, a little bit in the bottom where you can swipe away at their feet. I've got some wood. Should we need to make slabs? But they still hit you, and it hurts. Ah, uh oh, I'm inside. Didn't mean to go inside. I'm trying to do it without jumping, because I don't want to end up inside the farm. Well, exactly. <laughs> it's so irritating building on the moon. Now they're flying back oh. up. Oh, I need more slabs. I may have found a way to kill them without them killing us. Uh, we're also on slabs now. So we don't need any more lava and things then? No, I think I think we're okay. Um, we just need a collection system now. Well, this has been a raging success, Mr. Beardstone. First time every time. I'm happy to report that I got 17 blaze rods instantly without dying. I had no problems whatsoever. And um, yeah, yeah. No, thank you for coming and assessing my work and giving it the gold seal of approval. Yeah, it's absolutely wonderful, Foxy. I just can't believe yeah. how quickly you did it as well. Incredible. Yeah. <laughs> I nice lunchtime. I've done nothing. You have. You built a blaze farm. You did it. <laughs> oh, look, I, I added like eight slabs. Let's be honest. Going home. <laughs> Whoa, who's this guy? He's got donkeys. What? 
Hey, wandering my wine wandering maker. Winemaker. Mate, he knows of our struggles. He's come to save us, Foxy. <laughs> hey, you had a bad day. <laughs> he literally sells bottles of cherry wine. Yeah. Look, I, th I think it's it's time for a lunch break. We've got 64. We can buy loads of wine. Right. We <laughs> what we'll do is we'll, we'll buy a little bit of wine from this guy. Yeah. And maybe have a lunch break. Um, oh, and yeah. And lunch break talk, talk, talk about it over wine. Yeah. And we... And, uh, if if we do a quick cut here, suddenly we might have a couple of donkeys. Hey, look, Foxy, I've got donkeys. Oh, that's good. So what has occurred to me is I haven't actually made a gold farm at all. I keep calling it a gold farm, and that's not what this is. This is a zinc farm. So in theory, if I put water there, we've got a funnel going into this box. And I just need to lock this box to zinc, so that should be fine. And if we stick that on there, and then adjust this so that it goes out on this side and there we go so that should wash we should get zinc and hopefully that's gonna pile up in here it does although we're also getting dead bushes now i wonder can i just grab stuff directly off the belt and maybe store the bushes down here if we go in from the back auto input ha yeah look at that it works so we can literally snatch stuff directly from the belt that's good to know the good news is that is zinc completely done now so we've done this side and next up, we do need to tackle gold, but I think we're also going to need more molten clay because we're not really getting much from over there. That's not really automated as such because you still have to sort of manually feed the burner that melts it down. And that's telling me that we're going to need a reasonably sized cobble generator here so we can then split that cobble into three things. Basically, some that gets turned into seared stone, some that then gets washed down and turned into clay, and other bits that get turned into, well, gold eventually, I guess. So basically, in order to move forward, we need a whole bunch of drills to get a whole bunch of drills. We need need lots and lots of andesite alloy andesite alloy that's the one the shiny one thankfully we have a bunch of clay i've got a bunch of irony things i've got some andesite which means we should be able to make the compound although i'm fairly sure if we put this stuff into a mixer we'll get andesite alloy compound and then if we put that in the sort of tinker smelter setup thing we've got over there, I think we actually get a little bit more andesite alloy from the resources. So maybe we should try that. And at this rate, I have no idea how much of this factory we're actually going to get done this episode because there's so many other things we end up having to do just to achieve what we need. But then that's the joy of mod packs like this. There's always so much to do. No! How would you but Where even was that? It's the middle of the day! I know, right next to all the things I was building. Oh, I didn't blow anything up. That's good. Stupid creeper. Where did he come from? Where did he go? I don't know. <laughs> oh, no, 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 I'm out. <laughs> so instead of making Batsy's awesome cobble generator, I'm just going to make a small one here instead. And we're just going to basically copy what Foxy's already done over there. I almost looked at Pipe Guy then. I don't want to upset him. He's been there for so long, he's part of the family now. So I haven't made this before, meaning I don't really know what I'm doing. But Foxy said, make sure I've got a trough at the front. And I think this is going to work as a trough. This will catch the water. So I think I've done this correctly. We need to put lava in this section here. And then we put water in this section here. Then that will form a wall of cobble there. So we need to build up lots of drills along this side here. And we're going to need... I think I've done that as two stacks. That's a lot of drills. I have a feeling we're going to be needing a whole bunch more andesite alloys. So I'm going to get loads more of this cooking up, I think. So I've just set up a little contraption here to make us lots of andesite casings. Because, well, we're going to need them for our drills we need a couple of stacks and i've been over here sorting out lots more of the compound as well because well i need lots and lots of andesite alloy for this and at the end of all that about half an hour later i've only managed to make one stack of drills so that's gonna have to do for now because we just don't have the andesite at the moment i need to go on a drilling mission and because we only managed to get one stack i'm gonna halve the height of this cobble generator one stack of cobble at a time will be absolutely fine i'm sure that'll still be plenty and i really want to crack on with getting these farms done this is taking a lot longer than i'd hoped and i've just broken my pickaxe Dang it, that should do it. Now we just need to put all of the drills in. So it turns out maths isn't my strong point. And uh, yeah, four times eight is, is 32, not 64. So we can have it full height. We can grow it again. Oh dear. So I think I'm making progress. I'm getting there with the contraption. We've got all of the drills in. Well, I did just place that storage interface the wrong way. So we need to get some rail down there and I need to turn this into a contraption, which means I need to glue it all together first off. So if we can get up the top here, I need to glue the drill together from there and just make sure we've got all of the drills stuck together. I think that's correct. Now, hopefully if we do this and this, stick a block behind and give that power. Oh, no, it's all gone wrong and I haven't got me wrench. Foxy, Mr. Foxy, Mr. it's all gone wrong. I've, I haven't got me wrench and I forgot to lock the rotation. <laughs> 
I'm having a terrible time. Oh dear. Have you got a wrench? Yeah. Thanks. Oh, I've only I've only removed the entire back wall. It's fine. Good job, Mr. B. Good job. Uh, yeah. Also, it turns out that I couldn't count, and um, I made it the size of 64 in the first place. So. Oh, good job. Yeah. Good job. Good jobs all round, Mr. Yeah. Beardstone. <laughs> Everything's going absolutely as expected. Yeah. Which is to say, wrong. Well, the good news is, Mr. Beardstone, after all of that hard work that I did getting all of those blazes and all of that slime oh, and no. all of the other stuff, I oh, made my... a whole five scorched bricks. You kid, are you kidding me? That's all you got from that five bricks. <laughs> there's, there's a few more coming through oh. now. But oh, good. You get, you get one scorched brick for every four of the other ones, and each of the other ones takes three pieces of obsidian, and all one of each of the in other ingredients. So it is not, it's not a reasonable recipe. From this, I would imagine I'll probably have about sixteen pieces by the time it's done. So we'll have one small smelter. Like it. And you wanted three big smelters, yes? <laughs> well, you know, one. we can start with one. One's fine. Yeah, yeah you need, you're going to need to put an in a, uh, a wall in the middle. Uh, yes, like... I, I did, Foxy. It disappeared for some reason. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can't imagine why it would disappear. No. Yeah. But I would make it from something easy to break like dirt and then, you know, the machine won't have too, too much of a tough time on its first go. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, um, that's why I removed it, you see. I, I had a stone one there before and I thought, you know what would be better? Dirt would be better. Let's, let's just quickly remove that. You're a smart cookie. I may have made a boo-boo. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, what? dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> what, what, what's the boo-boo? <laughs> Um, <laughs> the giggle does not fill me with confidence, Foxy. <laughs> no, uh, uh, I, uh, <laughs> the fact that you can't even talk is kind of worrying. Can I undo them? I only need one of those. I need the rest of the uh, scotch bricks. <laughs> uh, and I've turned them all into those. <laughs> We have to go back and kill more blazes, don't we? No, no, we've got enough magma cream. Oh. It's the it's the obsidian I'm missing. Oh, geez, oh no! Yeah. yeah, you're definitely going mining then. Oh, I'll see. I'll see, see you in a week. <laughs> <laughs> what a moron! Well, we are slowly getting there with this cobble generator. We've just got three more rows of lava to put in. Then we should be good to go. Oh, well, and the water, of course. But it's good to see we're keeping up with tradition of basically throwing all of our plans out the window once we start an episode, because there's lots of stuff we didn't realise. It does seem to be the ongoing theme for this series, but I'm having a wonderful time regardless. So that's the last of the lava in. We just need to add some water now. If we add that there, let the water run to the bottom. That's good. Okay, I think we're good to run it maybe test although actually i should probably put some storage on this first so for now we'll just bring that down here and i think to be honest putting it inside a vault is probably going to be a good idea because then we can pull it in any direction we need there we go so that should do the trick for now though i could do with the vault being a bit bigger but we'll solve that later so that's definitely set to lock rotation this is good in theory if i just put a torch here this should start working oh i'm nervous let's give it a go Okay, it seems to be doing its thing. And now we've got all the cobble coming in, I can finally actually focus on making the rest of the farms we need. That'll be nice, won't it? Oh I'm my- fly what in. <laughs> Foxy, what? I that made was... a aerodrine. That was not today's task. But I need to go to the sky island in the sky. I, I can't argue with that. Wow, that looks a lot of fun. Bye. It is a lot of fun. And now I'm on the sky island in the sky, Mr. Beardstone. I'm kind of jealous. Can you get in it as well? Oh, my days. Where do you want to go, board? You... Wow. It's got, it's got upgrade slots as well. Yeah. Weapon I... slot are upcoming feature. But it does well, have upgrade slots. And it's not slow. If I was here with a potato cannon, 
We could be having you a could, wonderful time. <laughs> we could be having a wonderful time. <laughs> you might notice I'm dropping you off at the uh, the farm because I'm very hungry, Mr. Beardstone. So I'm assuming it uses lots of hunger because we're peddling, you, right? Yes. So just hold forward and then it'll like tell you when it's ready to take off. And then shift is uh, shift is down and space is up. <laughs> so it does need like a little runway. Yeah, but you once you're in the air, you can just go up and down. You don't have to keep holding forward. You can, yeah, it's it's quite good. It is actually very cool. I like this. Wee! By this stage, I was finally making some progress, and I'd managed to automate the production of molten clay. So I then built a small contraption to take the cobble, turn it into stone, and then pour the clay on it to turn it into seared stone. But then Foxy came to me with a small problem he was having. It's given me two books. Mighty okay. Smelting which is the Tinker's book, and Fantastic Foundry. And they appear to be two totally different things. Now, it's taken me down the quest path of making this foundry, which I'm ticking off as I'm going along. Right. Yeah. But I, I just don't get it. So I've I've put some obsidian in there just because I had some on me, just to see what would happen. And yep. it's like, okay, make a drain. A drain... And it wanted me to make these things. So I made a drain, I made a casting table, I made all the things, but it don't do anything. So then the quest on, I just, it just doesn't make any sense, Mr. Beardstone. The click in the scorched faucet isn't pouring the stuff out is the problem, right? Yeah. So then there's this scorch shoot thing here for getting things in and out, but I don't know if that's supposed to be for this. It just, the whole thing. The book's just total nonsense, in my, in my personal opinion. <laughs> um, <laughs> exactly, Mr. Beardstone. Um, indeed, maybe we need it in that bit. It don't make any sense. It literally doesn't make any sense, no. <laughs> ah, 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 no. I didn't mean to get you as well. Oh, I'm actually gonna die. I, I need to, I need I'm to gonna eat. die. <laughs> <laughs> I've got like two hearts left, stop it, shoo. Yeah, sorry, that, it turns out that wasn't the best idea. Um, my bad. Right, so I, I don't know um, oh, is, God. is the answer. So I think this might take some between episode research, Foxy. Yeah. Because yeah. that should have worked. I think I'm going to finish this off um, not today because uh, yeah, yeah, I don't understand it. It does, it, well, it looks like I should be able to do the things I want to be able to do. I can't craft half the things it says it needs me to craft. So I think this is one of those where I go away and come back and magically it's all done and working in a future episode. It's been a day today, hasn't it? I could I could do with a drink, to be honest with you. Oh, so oh, could yeah. I. Yeah. So, wait, um, just wait a minute. Let me guess. What? Have I got 20 minutes to go fly this around? Yes. Amazing. Probably shouldn't do oh, that no, after the No, no, I've got them ready, Mr. Beardstone. No way. Yeah, I oh. actually have. Look, there's one okay, and oh. there's the other. God, I'm coming. I'm lovely. Coming. Oh. I, um, I'll, I'll just be 20 minutes. Oh, for the love of 